sun's out big in sunlight. Shopping list. Oh, what a mouth-watering smell. Paima would know the aroma of biryani anywhere. Let's uh we Well, if it isn't the traveler and Paimon. Wasn't expect uh, hello there. Oh, it's been quite a while. Ah, so you two are still hanging out together. Dear, didn't you say last time that you were gonna have <laughs> I said I was going to resign from being her bodyguard, not that our friendship was over. The Homayanis also still post jobs from time to time. Their pay is always generous. So me and the other mercs, I told Dia to just stay at our place when she took one of those jobs a few days ago. My parents were delighted. They even said that it always felt like we were missing someone whenever Dia... <laughs> that sounds like something they would say, all right. They're always... Anyway, the job is already taken care of. So I was gonna head back to the brigade as soon as I finished a little shopping. But the master kept insisting, and I ended up staying for another day. You can stay for as many days as you want, Dia. Father hasn't even got... <laughs> you know I'm not the kind of person to stay put in one place like that. But she said they'll treat you to the best dishes! <laughs> but, but wait, didn't you say last time that you would take me on a trip to the desert? Why don't you just take... There are so many places I still haven't... I'm sorry, my lady, but no can do. There's still a few things I need to take care of back at the brigade. Besides, the desert hasn't exactly... Oh, come on. Not this again. That's all... <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. Uh, just give me some more time. All right, fine. To be perfectly honest, it's not that I wanted to go. It's more like... Ever since you first set foot on the estate a few days ago, you've been acting anxious. Have you been delaying our trip because you've run into some kind of... N nah, are you kidding? You're worried. Would you swear on that? Friends shouldn't lie to each other, you know. I wouldn't pry any further if you're... But if something really is bothering you, then just tell me. Mm. Oh, looks like Junior's up... You're too perceptive, my lady. I just thought that nothing good could come out of telling you about the messy happenings of mercenaries. Knowing too much, mercenary life is a dog-eat-dog -dog world where Mora reigns supreme. Everything operates on... That doesn't change anything about what I just said, though. We're still friends, and I can only sup My lady... You're not gonna... All right, I'll share what I know. Let's go somewhere else first. Okay, let's talk here. Just try not to draw any extra attention. As you may already know, the Aramites have both a lot of mercenaries and a complex organizational structure. Many mercs are... My brigade is called the Blazing Beasts. We're not a large group, but every member is loyal. However, not all Aramite brigades are like mine. Some are willing to cross all kinds of lines for the sake of Mora. The most notorious is a faction known as Deshret's... Deshret's Relics? Judging from the name, they must really look up to... Yep, you got it. I've heard that you've already crossed paths with Ein al Akmar. They're one of the groups under the Relic's ban. Oh, you mean the group that tried to sell us the Divine Knowledge Capsule! Deshret's Relics is composed of many smaller brigades like Ein al Akmar. The Relic's headquarters issues orders to all brigades under. On any other day, I would want nothing to do with them. Unfortunately, though, the brigade that's. The Khan? Uh, I think it means beard or something. Believe me, it's a really stupid name. I found it. Anyway, the real issue is that Dakan al Akmar. Say what now? I think I'm starting to understand your anxiety now. I won't go into details, my lady, but they've been involved in a lot of violence. Hundreds? Yep. 
The scenes tend to be quite gruesome, too. They stripped the victims of all their valuables before murdering them. Not only have they targeted merchant caravans and ordinary citizens, but other mercenaries. That's beyond terrible. They won't even... I don't know how Deshret's relic sees it. All I do know is that Dakana Akmar has become more and more aggressive. If I don't do something about them, then even my brigade or the people of Aru Village could become their next target. I just wish I knew what's driven him to do that. Yeah. How can your father... I don't know. People change. He's always been pretty pathetic. But at least in the past... That's setting the bar pretty... I mean, if he was even remotely decent, then why would I have to leave the brigade and cut all... T he was loud and foolish, with no real sense of purpose. Instead of doing anything useful, he spent... M of course, the other brigade members were just like him. Their ruckus would go on night after night. Sounds like a nightmare. What about your mother? Did she... Unfortunately, I know. Uh, oh, um, it's all right, my lady. That's pretty common in mercenary circles. Didn't I mention that my father was chasing after women? I was. He told me that he wasn't sure who my mother was. And in any case, he'd say, You'll be fine as long as you remember to stick with dad. But even then, he left most of the parenting to the brigade. But the problem was that he had terrible taste. He only knew a few stories. They were tales of desert warriors defeating dragons in the forest, or stories of mercenaries. Sounds like your typical fair- More or less, yeah. They were interesting maybe the first or second time around, but after about- He seemed to think those stories were the best things ever, though. He was so into them that he'd call the whole brigade over and make them perform the whole thing. Even the toys he gave me would all be story props. I'd get helmets, shield. It was only much later when I realized that the shows were more for him than they ever were for me. What an interesting guy. Yeah, I've always found him pretty childish. But that was something I could just shrug off. Until I grew up and learned the true face of Deshret. Looting, blackmail, violence, and fraud. They not only accepted such heinous acts, they would, no one in the brigade was any kind of hero. Instead, my father and his cronies were more like the bad guys that needed... Did they really think that as long as they didn't do any of that stuff right in front of me, I would never... I think I can understand your feelings. The difference between... Yeah, but don't worry, my lady. It's all water under the bridge to me now. I had a huge argument with my father and... Le I'm not investigating them due to any bitter feelings I still have towards my father. I just want to protect those that are close to me. Yeah, I told the boys to gather as much information as they could. Most of the reports concern violent ins- I see. Uh... It is, but every mercenary lives life on the edge. That may be true, but it'll be impossible for those who care about- Well, now you get why I didn't want to share it. What should we do? They both have valid cons- Huh? But there's no need for you to get caught. Well, he's super tough, so if he went into the desert with you, then Paimon bet- Hmm, I'm inclined to agree. I'd feel a lot more at ease if you took him along to help. I'll wait for news from you in the city until then. Hmm, I'm honored that you care- All right, then let's get moving. Our first stop will be Caravan Rebot, where we can- Hey, dear, you're back. <laughs> Are these two friends of yours? <laughs> Likewise. And they're... Anyway, uh, since we've got a newcomer, let me fill you in on what the con... They've become extremely aggressive. Apparently, even their own now have become acceptable targets. They even attack other relics brigades, just the same as any other... Even the most ferocious beasts still protect their own. It sounds like... <sighs> That's right. 
Once they've collected enough loot off the other mercenaries, they sell it off to a different brigade, or, or turn the merchants on the black market. A portion of their profits is immediately exchanged for more food and weaponry to be used in their next- That's terrible! Yeah, and it really makes you wonder why they're so- A few days ago, Isham and I trailed them for a while, and even disguised ourselves as merchants to conduct trade with them. We were able to learn a few things. Rather than saying they're out to plunder and hoard Mora, it'd probably be more accurate to say that they're experiencing an- Wait. You heard me right. The vast majority of their victims are mercenaries from the other brigade. If their only goal was Mora, they could have gone after anybody. The targeted nature of their attacks points to a power struggle between the different brigades within the relics. Unfortunately, we weren't able to find out anything more specific. It's Oh, one last thing we discovered was that over the past few years, as Dakan al Ahmar became more and more active, Deshret's relics as a whole became a lot weaker. Hmm, sounds mighty strange to me, too. Harun, you can kinda say, though. I didn't expect you to go on a whole undercover mission during the few days I was gone. Sounds like- Nah, it was nothing. We're just as concerned about the situation as you are. The Khan al Ahmar is your father's crew, after all. <laughs> what he said. Besides, Dia, haven't you done more dangerous things than all of us combined? What we- Yeah! And while they went to talk with Dakan al Ahmar. I took a look at the last camp they had. Any survivors of the attack were already long gone. There was nothing. Ah, Hisham and Kalaf. We rushed over as soon as we saw you come into Caravan Rebot. Although this new friend of yours looks a little green behind the ears, I'm sensing a special. Now that we know you'll have a capable partner with you, we can also. Hey, what about Paimon? Oh, uh, you're also. Of course, Paimon is the traveler's most important. Oh, in that case, the. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about her. She may look tiny and helpless, but she's even if she had only survived on sheer luck, then that alone would still. <laughs> I had no idea. Oh, one other thing, Dia. When you're free, why don't you update the deputy about your upcoming sketch? We held another recruitment event a few days ago, but everyone only came to see the flame main. You weren't around at the time, so people were pretty disappointed to only find our crew of rough on- The deputy put a lot of effort into the event, but it was basically for nothing. Ah, uh, sorry to hear that. Gotta admit, I can understand their disappointment, though. You're our brigade's main selling point after- Now, if only the deputy could figure out a way to bring a few more smoking hot members into our- <laughs> keep dreaming. Remember the last time I invited a couple gals into the brigade? You all just froze up with your- The awkward silence and weird expressions left quite the impression on them. They were originally interested in joining us, but after that, they- Hey, didn't we agree to never bring- Huh? Wait, are you serious? Why have I never- I don't think you were part of the brigade- Are you kidding me? I missed a once-in-a-lifetime moment like that, and you weren't even gonna t <laughs> All right, all right. We can tell you about it later. Now- Hey, don't you try to change the subject. You and Hisham, get your butts over here and tell me your- Uh, are they always like this? <laughs> More or less. There aren't many rules or graces when it comes to mercenaries. We're used to just speaking our mind. If someone starts getting under your skin, you just yell right back, but we also don't tend to take many things too seriously. Being direct and getting it all out of your system as soon as things... That's also why I never spare their feelings when I talk to them. If I want to laugh, I'll laugh. If I'm angry, then I'll unload on them. It's hard to stop once you get used to it. <clears throat> hey, knuckleheads! Can you at least tell me the rest of the intel before you go back to your bickering? <laughs> yeah, you hear her, Holoff? Told you we gotta focus on the investigation first. <laughs> I drew up a map. Right here is the spot. There you'll find the merchant care. All you gotta do is wait and ambush them in the evening. They'll have no idea. Perfect. Thanks for that. Be sure to pass my regard. Will do. You stay safe. This should be the place. 
Let's find a spot to hide and bide our time. It's gonna come down to a fight one way or another. You don't need to worry. He knows. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. What I meant is that we probably shouldn't go too hard on the end. Here they come. You ready? Let's not give them a chance to react and end this. That's what I'm feeling lucky today. Here's the memory. Yeah. Rest and rebuild. Saves me an introduction. All right, time for a little talk. <laughs> you know the code of being a mercenary just like everyone else. The first rule is to never divulge key. <laughs> that might have worked on an amateur, but I know you're just looking to think about it, though. What's your reputation worth if you won't have the other tools you need to succeed in this line of work? Tools like you've got five seconds. You might want to think twice about how much your employer's in. Whoa! I'm not joking around. We can do this the easy way. Two seconds! I'll save you the trouble. Huh? Are you crazy? <sighs> he tried to bite off his own tongue. Quick, sir. <sighs> I definitely didn't expect him to go that far. Thankfully, the wound wasn't too... But why would he... Uh, I just wanted to test his mettle. You can get a lot of mercenaries to talk just by threatening. I didn't expect him to be willing to go through so much pain just to... Well, he's out cold for now. We could wait for him to wake up, but maybe... Yeah, don't worry about it. It'll be a waste of time to interrogate him again after that. There are lots of goods around here. Let's search the area. Let me take a look. If this really is a merchant caravan, hmm. Yep, I see an entry for Dakana Lakmar right here. Kusela, Idrisi, Bashar, and Dek all familiar names. Dakana Lakmar has been trading for a hefty supply of food, weapons, and medicine. This caravan is just one link in their logistics chain. Once in the rainforest, the caravan will exchange the looted goods for Mora, and the funds will that person will then pack the car. Wait. Why is there no more of value record? Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Yeah. Every transaction before the last one was marked with an exact amount of mora, but the final one, where they paid for everything to be brought back, hmm, perhaps, but they couldn't have known how much they would make off selling. Anyway, the next part's the records of the goods themselves. There are a lot of entry. Huh? What's wrong? Shazaman Homayi. Homayati? You mean do uh, could, could it? Mm, I'd be surprised to find someone with the exact same first and last name. Shazaman Homayani is Dunyarzad's. Just what the heck is going on here? I'm sorry. You're right. I'll consider what we found, but what this piece of paper confirms is that the Homayani family has been. What if the Homayanis have been kept in the dark and don't know they've been trading with Dakan Ahmar? That's a possibility. But if that was the case, why is this caravan? They could have just as easily bought goods such as food and medicine directly from Caravan Rebot or Port Ormos. Yeah, funding violence and loot. But why would he do that? I honestly, I've been to their estate many times and I've never known the only potentially large expenditure I could think of would be the treatment cost for Dunyarzad's Elazar. Maybe they... But that's still just a speculation. I don't think the Master would stoop so low to make Mora. You're probably right. I know my lady's personality, and she would... What? What should we do now? All we found... Hmm, if you ask me, I'm not worried. Let's go find my... If we're lucky... Uh, Dia, 
I've considered that possibility. She showed genuine concern for me when we first brought up the topic. I can't repay her kindness. That's not how I deal with people. You're right. Paimon wants to trust Junior's a- Yeah. Let's pay another- Back, my lady. Oh, you're back a lot sooner than I expected. You mustn't have run into any trouble then. Well, how did it go? Uh, what did you come up with? Actually, we are still investigating. It's just that we've discovered something. I see. Something like that. You all look a little dispirited. Why don't you discuss it with me? It's okay, my lady. It's not so much about me being upset with my father or anything like that. So something is wrong. Even the Traveler and Paimon have been... On any other day, Paimon would have already waved to me with a smile and sh... Uh, my lady, please prepare yourself for what we're going to tell you next. The Master, okay? I understand. My father... Yeah. It makes as little sense to us as it does to- I've never doubted the Master's integrity, so I'm having a real hard time rationalizing how- Maybe he's not actually aware of the full story, and just stumbled into the deal by- I can't help but agree with the tra- Huh? You mean you feel this- Thank you for sharing all this information. Since you've told me everything you know, I should also tell you about- In the past, I thought that my father hired a bodyguard for me, so- that, However- there are plenty of capable mercenaries in the Corps of Thirty. Why did my father go out of his way to hire- Uh, about that. Well, the Homiyanis really needed but Later, the Master told me that I was one of the best mercenaries he'd ever seen, and that I should stick around because he offered me a pile of Mora, so- Well, but that didn't really answer my question. It, just think about it. Uh, maybe the Corps of Thirty just didn't have anyone available, or- Maybe someone recommended us? I... I think I get what you're saying. You'd think none of this was a coincidence. Precisely. At first glance, nothing seemed strange or out of place. If my father had always been in contact with the Khan al-Akmar, then it would... You mean, the goal all along was to get... No, 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 that's too much of a stretch. I cut all ties with my father a lot. But that still doesn't rule out the possibility that your father has still been trying to influence your life. Hmm. So the master was not likely an innocent victim in all of this? Sorry we put all this on you so sad. It's okay, Paimon. I should actually be thankful. Regardless of his reasons, if my father has truly been funding a violent group of mercenaries, then it's my duty to bring him back to... But is that... Really, the my father has committed many atrocities and deserves all the punishment that he has coming to him. I have zero sympathy for him. However, the Homiyani family is treated. If we decide to investigate this further, we could end up implicating the entire Homiyani family. Yeah. It's all right, Dia. If anyone were to ask, you could always just say that I'm the one who instructed you to get to the bottom. You don't have to do that, my lady. I'm not conflicted because I'm afraid of taking responsibility. Besides, you're the one we should all be worried about. Hey! It's still too early to give up hope! Uh, what was that thing about friendship again? Right! Yeah! Trust! Besides, there's no point on getting all riled up before we've confirmed all the facts! Thank you, everyone. That makes a lot of sense. I guess... In which case, my lady, could you ask the Master to come out? Sure thing. I also hope he'll be able to give us a lot of... Uh, usual <laughs> Thank you for coming, sir. Please allow me to introduce these two. This is the Traveler, 
and next to him... Ah, yes, my daughter has mentioned them from time to time, but we may skip all the pleasantries for now. What is... Well, we wanted to bring this transaction record to your attention. There's something on this record that... So, that's what you found? Huh. If you wouldn't mind, we'd like an ex- Well, it's a long and difficult story. What I do know, though, dear, is that the truth will bring you no solace. If anything, it will likely- Wait. Yes, I understand perfectly why you came to see me. And I am touched by your collective, but knowledge always comes at a price. And some, your father, Kusela, and I both believe that. Of course, you have the right to seek and learn the truth. The facts of this matter may reduce everything you've built for yourself into sand. If you must proceed, then Kusela's heartfelt efforts will also fade into his heartfelt efforts. I, I'm, I've made it this far in life without a single drop of my father. I have my own ideals and ways of looking at the world, as well as people and causes that I've chosen to cherish and fight for. None of these... I came here today to support you as the head of the Homiyani family. No warning will change my stance on that. I understand. Our family once needed to take a trip to the desert when Dunyazad was just a baby. Along the way, they had superior numbers, and quickly overpowered our bodyguards. When all seemed lost, a group of passerby Aramites lent us their support. Those Aramites were Kusela's brigade, Dekan al-Akhmar. Kusela's men told me that the attackers were Aramite mercenaries, just like themselves. I was shocked. Why would... Kusela was grinning and walked over to play with baby Dunyazad. She was startled by his unfamiliar face and nearly started crying. Really? He said that he had no particular reason to help us. He just took pity on us because we started talking about our children and I sensed that he to repay his kindness. I hired his brigade to help out at our estate for a time and... So, that's what happened. It was many years before I saw him again. I almost didn't recognize him the next time he came knocking on my door. The man I knew to be strong and healthy had been reduced to a... So, what happened to him? He was perfectly fine when I... I'm not too sure myself. The only thing that didn't change was his cheery disposition. He said there was absolutely nothing to worry about, and that he... He then suddenly asked me if Dunyarzad, now that she had grown, would need a bodyguard of her. At the time, Dunyazad was going through a particularly severe bout of her Elazar. There was no need for her to have a bodyguard when she, But he kept coming back to the topic. Come on, it, it never hurts to be safe. I was completely lost at first, until he recommended the Blazing Beasts, and in particular, a mercy... So he was the one who recommended... Indeed. He didn't say it out loud, but it was clear that he saw Deshret's relics as an evil group who would eventually corrupt every member in their ranks. He was already beyond redemption, but he hoped that he would be able to detach his daughter from the vicious. If Dia could stay in my house and keep working as a bodyguard, then gradually her affinity for the desert would decrease, and she'd be able to leave her previous life. And that's why you offered her such... Yes, but not just because of that. From the moment that he asked me for that favor, I also... And that's also why I tried to persuade you to stay when you asked for permission to leave. I was willing. Kusela saved my daughter and I all those years ago in the desert. I could never refuse him in trusting his daughter. <sighs> he was always like that. Acting like he's old. Kusela said that he'd reimburse me for a portion of Dia's fees. I refused to take any mora from him, but he'd always send me funds anyway. Eventually, I just accepted them as a token of his gratitude. And that went on for a while until I received another letter. The letter contained a request to help him buy food, weapons... Wait! Isn't that around the time that Takano asked... That's right. When I started to hear some nasty rumors, I became aware. But by then, he was no longer receptive to my requests to talk. If I had to guess... It's probably because he doesn't want to put Dia at risk. That thought occurred to me as well. 
I figured that he probably came to me after some deliberation. I decided to send him some food and medicine. I turned down. I am aware that even such a reduced gesture of support could lead to others coming to In the end, it probably was the wrong decision. I plugged my ears to the rumors and If you can, please tell me where he None of the things he's doing right now make any sense if he's just trying to keep me from getting tangled up in it. If all he wants to do is steer clear of me, then maybe he shouldn't have brought me into this world in the first- Oh no, <sighs> I'm just angry because I can't wrap my head around any of his actions. <sighs> I don't know, I but I guess you do have a point. We haven't uncovered the whole truth yet. I'll do my best to help. Of course, anything between the two of you would need to be resolved be I don't know Kusela's exact whereabouts. Outside of supplying his brigade with some goods, I, I tried- However, there's a man on the list named Jawed. He used to be a mercenary in the desert and is now a member of the- He's responsible for supplying weapons and liaising with the Dakan al Akmar's merchant caravan. I've heard that he likes to have a few drinks alone and enjoy the cool wind at night outside the tavern. Understood. Thank you, sir. I'll stay and be with my father here. To be honest, I'm still- My father has indeed done something wrong, but if I think about it, I'm also- I feel like our only course of action is to turn everything we know- Yes. I am prepared. It's time to fix-